Right now it's between Lieutenant Dan and Weavy Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> he said Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Wonder Brothers gonna sue us. Yo, it's a new year, it's 2023, it's the first smoke session, 612 of the year, we got some dumb asses, one of them is unbelievable, we got some more hip hop stories, and yes, I got a new list for you this week, it's a totally different list than what we usually do, I can't wait to, for, to let y'all in on it. Plus, we got this week in hip-hop history. It was some bangers and some history made this week in hip-hop history. Right here on the Smoke Session 612 on 92.9 The Raven with your man Big Ed. I got OG Tim Wilson. I got my brother Waze with me. Let's get to it. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Welcome once again to the Smoke Session 612, the first one in 2023. Welcome, OG. Welcome, Waze. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> man. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm just chilling, man. Me man. too, me too. Waze, what's going on? Not much at all, man. I, I'm freezing up here, and over here in Benson, but <laughs> otherwise I'm good, nice and gummied up, and ready for the show. So, how much snow did y'all actually get over there in Benson? Uh, we got about 16 inches. We were about a half inch under that. We got about 15 and a half. It was a lot of damn snow that fell in two days, just two days. Man. Had snow and ice and everything. Yeah. They just plowed our streets out from three days ago. Hey. <laughs> Good thing I got a four-wheel drive truck. <laughs> I walked right up out of it. Everybody else getting stuck in the intersection. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. I'm glad but, you uh, funny and laugh at other people's misery, man. That's Well, I was actually out there helping them. Well, mainly man, 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 little pork chop was. <laughs> My back was hurting because, man, me and my wife, we shoveled a couple yards. And we was like, man, hell, to hell with this shit. Argue with your mama. <laughs> but y'all ready to take a shot real quick so we can get into this? Yeah, let's take let's take a let's shot. Let's get on. it. Yeah, we do. Okay, all right. Here goes the do say. Here goes that Hunter's whiskey. And this is my last glass of Uno. Ooh, that was good. Uno is something else, man. This shit has got a little twang to it. <laughs> only now, thing OG. Oh, wait, that? go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say the only thing bad about this whiskey is it's not good it, it's not bad going down, it's just that first breath you take afterwards going in is what <laughs> sucks. Mm. Yeah. All right. Dumbass number one. OG, you ended you ended what up the show with a story from Louisiana. Yes. I got a story from Louisiana. All right. A cop was sentenced to 100 years in prison after he allowed his wife to use his sperm and cake batter for cupcakes that she then fed to her students. She also got 41 years in prison. I was about to say, why did he go to jail and not her? Shit. Right. She the one fed the kids the, the, the cum cakes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So that's dumbass number one. All right. Cum cake Carlos. <laughs> dumbass number two. 
is a Colorado funeral homeowner. Oh, spit. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison for illegally selling body parts. <laughs> what? And man, you just, you guys got to see the pictures of these people. <laughs> oh, so the stories are all over there on the Smoke Session 612 group page on Facebook. <laughs> but yeah. Your thoughts? Um, I, I... I'm I'm speechless, man. I, I I I still can't get over the the cum cakes, man. Why are you giving that shit to kids, man? <laughs> right. <laughs> they think they ass people. They were uh they were charged with uh what <laughs> they were charged with child pornography. Yep. And what was the other charge? Sexual battery. <laughs> Sorry, wait. That was not the charge they have in this. Case. <laughs> Sexual batter. Um, <laughs> oh no! But yeah, they they were charged with <laughs> it's a sexual battery. Yep, those were their charges. I really thought he was going to stop at batter, and, and with sexual batter. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't ready. Cupcakes made with the sexual batter. So, yeah, those are the first two dumbasses. All right, so I'm thinking it's pretty clear on which of those yeah, two I'm, move on. I'm Cupcake Carla and, 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 and the Cupcake Couple. Yeah, the Cupcake Couple definitely is moving on. <laughs> so, the Cupcake Couple, you are this week's first contestant on Dumbass of the Week. Yeah. Now, are you guys familiar with the name Quentin Miller? Oh, yeah. OG? Uh, oh, OG. I'm too this. I'm going to talk. I'm going to do one. I'm, I'm going to do an episode. Eventually, I'm going to do an episode without where I'm not talking. I'm going to do all drops <laughs> to answer every question. <laughs> Wait, do you know who Quentin Miller is? I do not. Quentin Miller is Drake's ghostwriter. Huh. Who He's says that he has never officially been paid for the songs that he's ghostwritten for Drake? Oh, I intentionally to write a, such a horrible song. <laughs> now, he's also actually made other news because he appears in credits uh, for writing credits for Nas's King's D Disease 3. Okay. But on King's Disease 3, Quentin Miller has come out and said that all he did was sit in the studio and shoot ideas. And that's why they gave him writer's credits. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. He didn't actually write. That sounds like some type of uh, stuff that Nas would do. Mm hmm And Nas calls him one of the greatest MCs of this era. Hmm. You guess it. All he did. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this, this is what Quentin Miller says. All he did was bounce ideas. He didn't write a whole song. Did he, just did he really ideas. put an S on the end of all? I'm saying, did like... Say all he did, or did he say all he did? Right. Like, that's what I'm trying to get to here. He never said it again. Like, he was correcting me. <laughs> oh, all, he did, all, he, all he did was... <laughs> hey, it's the smoke session. Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have to be grammatically correct. <laughs> yeah, I see, because you just said chromatically. <laughs> no, I said grammatically. I was going to say, did he just say chromatically? <laughs> I said grammatically. <laughs> he added two extra learners and took one out. <laughs> oh, all right. So your thoughts on him not being paid by Drake? Argue with your mama. <laughs> I don't... I... Don't. 
I want to say that's on him. He should have. Why would you do something without making sure you're getting paid first? Well, he, he said the deal that he had at the time was, like, really fucked up. Excuse my language. But, but, yeah, he said the deal he had at the time was really screwed up, and it didn't allow him to get paid. Then why did he take the deal? God. That's, that's exactly why I say this is kind of on him. I agree. It was absolutely preventable. Right. So I can't. I, I'm honestly not even what, mad about Drake what, at this. What song did he write? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Legend was one of them. And it doesn't say the other one in the article, but Legend was one of them. It was off of. A, I can't even see which album it was now. Damn it. I had it up here. <laughs> but yeah, no, I agree with Waze. That's on him. I mean, you 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 continually working while you're not getting paid. That's I mean that don't make sense to me. Yeah. But right. Wish him the best. If if he owe him money, get your money. It was on yeah. his album. If you're reading this, it's too late. He wrote like three songs on there. Yeah, if you if you owe you money, get your money. That's all I can say. Yeah, that's apparently yeah. where the beef with Meek Mill started. Was through those songs. Hmm. Okay, I thought so. the beef with Meek Mill was over Nicki Minaj. No, it was after, it was after it was over Meek Mill saying that Drake had ghostwriters. Oh, okay. Well, maybe Meek Mill should have had some girls. <laughs> maybe he would have won that beef. Right. You know, <laughs> maybe he you know could have won that uh, battle. You know who don't have ghost writers? Me. And are now getting the rights to their masters back. Who that? So they can now go to streaming services. De La Soul. Ooh. That's what's up. That's cool, but how much action do you think they're gonna get in the streaming services? I don't know. I was I was actually kind of mad when I started looking through streaming services and I couldn't find no day I saw. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing: we're we're different than what the average uh, person that listens to Spotify is. Their de- general demographic is between eighteen and twenty five. So yeah. when you think about that, it really depends. On the TikTok trends, yeah. If they, think if they about, get me, myself, TikTok and I. Trend. Think about how how if if they were able to use me, myself, and I on TikTok, how how big do you think that'd be? I don't know. It depends on what they come up with for. Okay, let's be honest. It depends on what white girl dances makes a dance to. Yeah, it can be it can be a sister too. It, yeah, um, sometimes yeah. You can be a sister too. So some of them trends be started by black people too, right? But it depends, you know, what they come up with. For somebody got to somebody got to do something that catches on, it really, right? I, and it don't matter what it don't the song be damned. Uh, yeah. Sometimes there's there's these guys that I follow. I started following on TikTok that I th- I just found fascinating. I thought they were live as hell, and they just sit in the car and. Ch- do little chants to beats, <laughs> and they'll they'll be they'll be they'll be doing funny shit. And uh, there's a TikTok trend that I found out is actually them. The sound is the sound is actually them. And it was like oh, everybody was like, I thought that was a real song. It's like no, that's these dudes in this car. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, they got they got a, a, a TikTok trend that that took off and. Uh, is done to this to this beat, and everybody was thought it was a song. Was like looking for the song, and found out it's these guys on TikTok, and they're sitting in their car doing this, they little chants that they do. Hmm. They dope though. It's, it be they, they pretty dope with it. It'd be fun, and they be having f- so much fun doing it. That's what made me follow them because I like they yeah. so much fun to watch. They having so much fun doing. It. They just doing silly shit, right? You got a big booty. You got a booty booty. You got a... <laughs> they be doing some silly shit, man. They funny. But they be cold with it. 
I'm like, dang, I hope they, they I hope they're getting paid. I hope they're getting compensated for this. They they song is they little clip is getting used. They sound bite is getting used like crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go ahead and find that and check that out. Mm -hmm. You guys ready for another dumbass? Always. <laughs> this one will literally blow your mind. Uh, Hospital someone... evacuates after a patient entered with a World War One explosive large lodged in his rectum. Mm. <laughs> So you're saying you had a bomb in your anus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He literally had a bomb in his anus. Damn. Nice still in my stories. <laughs> I didn't do a story from Uranus Examiner today. <laughs> So, I tell you, those Uranus Examiner stories be funnier to me when I'm listening back than they, than they are when I'm reading them. <laughs> right. <laughs> because when you're listening, street and I just hear it, and I'm like, wow. Because when you're hearing it, you can actually <laughs> visualize it. Wow. <laughs> you know, yeah, when, when you're crazy. reading it, when you're reading the story, you can read the words, but you you actually can't visualize it. But when you're just listening to it, you can actually visualize it. Well, my question is this. Mm -hmm. Did he put the bomb in his own ass or was it planted in his ass by somebody else? <laughs> going to try to have it removed. <laughs> the hospital stated he reassured us by telling us that it was a collector's item from the First World War used by the French military. And they believe that is is he's just a pervy pa patient who inserted the item up his anus for sexual pleasure. Wow. <laughs> he said, I'm trying to blow my back out. <laughs> About to blow a new hole in his ass. And that brings us to our last contestant for Dumbass of the Week. And this one is just unbelievable. <laughs> Two women from Colombia were arrested <laughs> while trying to smuggle drugs in their weave to Spain. Okay. I can't believe it. <laughs> 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 if you check out the smoke session 612 group page you will see it they you will see the, the tsa actually pulling balloons of cocaine it was it was like one and a half 1.75 kilos of cocaine that they pulled out of these girls weave wow ways you go ahead i'm gonna weave this one alone <laughs> 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 they were caught while they walked through the x-ray machine wait uh they hold on real through. quick you guys go ahead real quick i got a crying child behind me oh okay oh gee man i really don't have much to say about it man uh, you know i've heard a lot of things people trying a lot of stuff but I didn't know. So wait a minute. So they put their weave through an X-ray machine. What the, you got to take walked, off everything at the airport? But I didn't know you had to take your weave off. No, they walked through the X-ray machine, and and while walking through the X-ray machine, he said you got some bumps in your weave. <laughs> exactly. That's my <laughs> head. I got a bumpy head. Both of y'all. They, they had sew ins and they had balloons sewn in to their weave. Wow. <laughs> now where was this? At the airport? In Colombia. They were they were on their way to Spain. Oh, so that that's that explains cause I was gonna say I don't I don't think you 
get x-rayed on your weave going through the airport but i guess in colombia it may be different yeah that's they were, they were en route to, to Madrid from two separate airports. It's hustling them some And were stopped when a body scan showed foreign objects hidden in their weave. And wow. hidden on their head. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Shocking Damn. video shows black tubes being <laughs> being removed from the women's heads. Damn. Wow. Uh, okay. So basically, yeah. <laughs> with this... Right now, it's between Lieutenant Dan and Weavy Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Wonder Brothers going to sue us. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong, the Weave one is stupid, but yeah, I got to go with Lieutenant Dan on this. Mm -hmm. I thought they were called the Come Cake Couple. No, that was the first one. That was the first one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> We're still discussing the second uh, round. We got, of another, we got another one to add to the list, folks. <laughs> <laughs> duh. I forgot about the story from Uranus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, are we, so we're going, you said Lieutenant Dan? Lieutenant Dan. OG? Yeah, I'm going with the guy that shoved the uh, bomb up his ass. That's definitely who I'm going with. So, Lieutenant Dan. Ronnie the Rectum. <laughs> Ronnie rectum, Ronnie. Rectum. You are going up against the Come Cake Couple for this week's Dumbass of the Week. Damn, we got some nasty-ass dumbass. <laughs> we really do. What the hell? Why don't you stick right. the... He should he should stick the cupcakes up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and have the teacher right. give the kids dynamite. Anyway. Um, now, Young Thug. Okay. <laughs> Young Thug is going for trial. And among the notable witnesses, uh, po notable potential witnesses for the trial are Little Wayne. Birdman, T.I., and Killer Mike. Okay. Uh. Now, Gunner has already been released because of his plea deal. Do you think, I, I don't know, what, what are they supposed to add to this trial? No idea. I They're all know. known former associates. That's about it. <laughs> because of his uh, rap career. He started with Young Money. Well, well then, yeah, I can see Lil, uh, Lil Wayne and Birdman. Mm -hmm. But then I don't I don't see Killer Mike or T.I. Killer Mike, I don't understand unless him and T.I. supported him early in his career. Before he went to Young Money. But I don't know anything about them. And I have no much. idea. I don't, I've not been paying attention. Uh, people have been sending me shit from this case. And I was like, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. Well, supposedly they got a RICO case for murder and drug trafficking against them. Yeah. And everybody says Gunner's been a snitch. Gunner snitched to get his plea deal. Mm -hmm. But there's no paperwork that says a gunner snitched. And when there's a snitch, there's paperwork. There's always paperwork. I don't know. So, but 21 Savage says he wants to be Savage in the air. <laughs> He says he wants to be cryogenically frozen so he can be alive in the year 2121. Good. Freeze his ass. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see how that shit work out for you. you go, I can't right, wait to... go right ahead. <laughs> right? Because then we don't got to listen to more bad music from him. Uh, Slick Rick. What's popping? 
this year at the this, uh, this year at the Grammy Slick Rick is gonna be honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Cool. Is he uh, out of jail? Is he free? Uh, as long as far as I know, he was. You know, Frick, Slick Rick been to jail a few times. That nigga, that nigga's known for fucking up. I mean, for messing up. Gummy kicking in. Gummy kicking in. Getting loose lips. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished that he, Uno's he, did get, he did get deported. So um let's go back to the dumbass of the week. All, All right. right. Are we going to come cake couple? Or are we going Lieutenant Dan? It's a tough call, man. Um mm -hmm. I'm still it's hard for me to get over the guy sticking a bomb in his ass. I <laughs> can't okay. I can't get past that. It's, especially, man, you gotta go to the Smoke Session Six One Two group page oh. and check out how big this bomb was. I wonder what, what else he was sticking up his ass before he got to the bomb. Like, ooh, yeah, no, this light bulb that that doesn't work. Ooh, no, this mother, let's try the twizzler. Hey, no, that didn't. This work. bomb is more than eight inches long, <laughs> and more than damn near, I gotta say, about eight inches wide. Jesus Christ, he could have just used the Campbell soup. <laughs> the family size. <laughs> I didn't even realize I said that loud enough for anyone to hear. <laughs> I thought it was meant for me to, and me only to hear. <laughs> no, your mic was high. Sure. You, your mic was high, bro. Cell phone, that works. No, no way. Well, how about a bomb? <laughs> right, I got this old bomb just sitting here. Let me just go ahead and ram that up there and see how that feels. Oh man! Oh, yeah. Ways? <laughs> that one's hard because it's still there's. I'm gonna go with the cum cake couple. I'm sorry, I gotta agree with OG. I'm going with the bomb in the ass. <laughs> Ronnie Rectum, Lieutenant Dan, whatever whatever you want to call yourself, <laughs> you are this week's dumbass. 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 Dumbass of the week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I told you guys that I had a, a, a shocking surprise list for you. Okay. Yes. This week, instead of doing hip-hop, we're going to count down the 30 greatest R&B songs of all time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And at number 30, Didn't I by the Delphonics. Didn't I blow your mind this time, didn't I? Exactly. <laughs> okay. okay. 29, Superfly, Curtis Mayfield. At number 28, Killing Me Softly with this his song by the Fugees. Wait, by the Fugees? Yep. Oh, no. Damn, by Roberta Flack. Oh, I know it was by Roberta Flack. I'm just saying. I'm, this no, I'm telling you the one that belongs. Yep. Okay, I'm going to let that slide. I yeah. do like I do like Fuji's version as well, but you can't be given that uh, all time joint when when Roberta Flack killed it. Yeah. Roberta Flack made it a classic. Y'all remade a mm -hmm. classic. Y'all successfully redid a, a a remake of a classic, which is not easy to do. Which is why I give them props. But hey. and it wasn't it was, and and they're killing me softly. Wasn't only just Roberta Flack's version of Killing Me Softly. It was also a cover, and well, it also had a sample of Bonita Apple Bomb by a Tribe Called Quest in it. Yes. So. Yeah. He said so. Like that, like that was so <laughs> damn profound. <laughs> <laughs> Number 27, No One Knows Me Like the Piano by Sampha. I have no idea what that is. Me neither. Me neither. So that I have no clue why that is on there. That, one, that one's off the list. Number twenty six, 
Never Too Much by Luther Vandross. Too much, never too much, never too much. With that. Yep. Number 25, Anytime, Any Place, Janet Jackson. Anytime, any place, I don't care who's around. Okay, I like that song. I don't know if I would put it on this list, but I like that song. At number 24, How Well I Know, Whitney Houston. How well I know you really love me. <laughs> At number 23, Outstanding. Gap. Outstanding. Girl, you knock me out. Wasn't that the beat that uh uh today was a good day? No. What what, what beat so. did he do? That wasn't that one. Uh, that was I can't remember what song that was, but that wasn't. It was a good day. I said it was a good day. I think it was. I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Somebody used outstanding for a beat. I thought it was that. I, I, no, it wasn't. It was a good day. All right. What what did what, what was I uh, was a good day used? Isley Brothers. I think I I think they used the Isley Brother beat. Yep. I believe that's what that one is. There was yeah. out somebody used outstanding though too. Ways, you want to look into that? Oh, shit. Uh, shoot. Um, <laughs> oh. Number 22. All right. Number 22. If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. I ain't got you. I like that song. Number 21. Yes. A song by Willie Hutch from the soundtrack of the Mac, I Choose You. I know the song, but I don't know the song. I can't. Right. I can't think of it. I can't put the melody with it. But I know that song. Yeah, so, I'm gonna have to look into that one too. Yeah, but because I know the song because I love the movie. Yeah, yeah. Number twenty, the bottle. I'm a big fan of Superfly, but that's okay. Number twenty right. was what? The bottle by Gil Scott Heron and Brian Jackson. Don't know it, but that's a hell of a combination. At number 19, You're Making Me High by You're Tony Braxton. You're Making Me High. <laughs> <laughs> I, like it. I like it. I like it. Number 18, Waterfalls, TLC. Don't go take waterfalls. Please stick to the river that, that they used to. I know that. Don't have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. R.I.P. Left Eye. I think you're moving too fast. Number yeah. 17. And I heard Chili's dating a white guy now. Yep. She has been for a while. It doesn't surprise me at all. Number 17. Me. Love TKO. Teddy Pendergrass. Looks like another love TKO. Uh, now I know that one was used for uh, back in the day when I was young. I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I sit and wish yeah. it hit again. Damn, doom, 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 doom. yes, sir. Yep, okay, I can hear it. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Back in the days when I was fat, I'm not a pig anymore. But some days I sit and Ooh. wish I was a pig again. Okay. That brought up another uh, another smoke list. And I hate when you Talk fuck up my jokes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Uh, number 16. Second time, the second time today, you stepped on my jokes. Number 16, All Night, Beyonce. Uh... Beyonce all night from her album. Hey, Lemonade. Hey, all night. That ain't the all night. I don't know that song. Me neither. Number yeah. fifteen. Oh, Number fifteen. All night. 
Emotions by Mariah Carey. Okay. I like that song, but that ain't my favorite Mariah Carey song. No. Number 14, Don't Let Me Be mis- Misunderstood, Nina Simone. Please don't let me be misunderstood. Just let me be. Uh, that's I a will, sample, too. Yeah, that's that's from uh, Common. Common has a song called Misunderstood. He uses okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Misunderstood. Number, this one shocked the hell out of me. Number 13, Return of the Mac, Mark Morrison. Return of the Mac once again. Return of the Mac ever am. Huh. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I don't think it's number 13, though. I love it. Who next? Number 12. Number 12. R E S P E C T. And I will be. R E S P E C T. Suck it to me, 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 suck it to me. Suck it to me. Oh, 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 just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just stole again. Okay, that oh, I personally think that one should be a little bit higher. Yeah. Number 11. What's going on? Marvin Gaye. I've been really... Oh. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, At number 10. At Last by Etta James. At last, at, at number nine, there's two songs at number nine. Two songs at number nine. Footsteps in the Dark, part ones and two. Woo! By the Island I Brothers. Keep hearing footsteps, baby, in the dark. Oh, in the dark. Now that's uh, Ice Cube gonna have a good day. That's Ice Cube gonna have a good day. Oh, today was a good day, rather. That's what that, that is. That sounds like, yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely it. That's definitely it. That sounds boom. like it. Doom, doom, boom, doom, boom, doom, 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 I've never heard this song personally. Cranes in the Sky by Solange. Uh I heard of I heard uh Solange Cranes in the Elevator. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was dropping the bees on. Them. I've never heard Cranes in the Sky, but <laughs> Solange does not belong in the top ten of all time. No. Any, any stretch of the imagination. No. Number seven, Midnight Train to Georgia. Gladys Knight. On that midnight train to Georgia. Leave it on the midnight train to Georgia. Woo woo. Gonna live it as well. Number six. Isn't you in my. Oh, no. Isn't that long? At number six, Untitled, How Does It Feel by D'Angelo. How does it feel? That's in my top five. How does it feel? Yeah, that, that's in my top five. At number five, The Boy Is Mine, Brandy and Monica. Boy is, oh. That boy is mine. Okay, I, I don't think so, but okay. Some kids made this list. At, <laughs> at number four, I can't write left-handed, Bill Withers. Man, I can give you a, probably five Bill Withers songs that belong. Are better? Yes, over that. Lean on me, hello. Right. How about that? Sunshine. How about Ain't lovely no day. Yeah, yeah, lovely, lovely day. Lovely day. Use me. Come on now. Just Which have all been sampled multiple times. Just the two of us. Come on now. Oh. oh. All right. Anyway. At uh, number three, Say My Name, Destiny Child. Say my name, say my name. Oh, it's around 
you. Say my name, say my name. At number two. End of the road. Boys to men. Although we've come to the end of the road. Till I can't let go. It's the last and the number one R&B song of all time. Let me guess. Go ahead. I know it's something by King Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Doodly. <laughs> Ways, you got a uh, guess? Let's see. I got I a can... guess. Yep. <laughs> I noticed that they haven't repeated any artists, so it's uh, that it, yeah, that's one thing I've noticed. Mm -hmm. So um, it's got to be somebody that hasn't been named yet. Uh, I am going to go with uh, "Giving You the Best That I Got" by Anita Baker. Ways. All right. First of all. Damn. Nope. When was I this article it. made? I got it. I got <laughs> when it. was this article written? Because I, I have an it. idea. I know what it is. What do you think it is, OG? And I love nope. you. Nope. Oh, that's bullshit. Ways? I'm going to go Believe I Could Fly by R. Kelly. Ooh. Kelly ain't on the list, is he? Nope. They left Kelly off the list. At number one, the number one R&B song of all time. Ooh, remember the time, Michael Jackson. Let's stay together, Al Green. Let's, let's stay together. Loving you weather. Not the good or bad or happy or sad yet. You know what? That's not a bad choice. I, that's another artist that was missing. That I, I was trying to think of somebody that hadn't made the list, although Whitney had made the list, so I, I thought maybe. But okay, I, I'll, I'll take that. I'll let that slide. But there's some songs, there's a lot of songs missing. Yeah. Even from some of the artists that they had on Come there. Come and songs. talk to me. <laughs> yeah, see, you, you young. Well, dang, oh, still, that's got to be on there. Yeah, for you. Some, that, some mm, let's Wayne. get it on. See, because see, they wasn't repeating artists. That's one. Right. Thing. Let's between get it the on. Sheets. Between, yeah, between the sheets. sheets. Yeah, between the sheets. Let's get it on. Um, uh, Dr. Get feel good. Dr. Feel good. The clean up woman. Yeah. I mean, it's a bunch of joints missing. Tonight's tonight. Oh, we. Oh, yeah. This is a lot of joints. Anything missing. by the Commodores. <laughs> yeah. No Commodores on the list. Damn. Damn. Hello, Zoom. I like to fly far away from here. Shit, no Lionel Richie on the list. He is Commodores, basically. Well, but even, even when he went solo. Yeah, he was trash. So Hello. He was gay. He was he was he was lame. So long. <laughs> Commodore shit was dope, <laughs> but he was a lame. Is it me you looking for? Yeah, he was kind of so. <laughs> Adele Adele that took his hello. Adele yeah. did hello. Adele yeah. did, did hello and did a song called Hello and, and topped it. Yeah, yeah, he was lame solo. Uh, he was he was. I mean, he won a lot of awards. He did had a lot of hits, but they were they were corny. No the bars? No oh, the bars. Woo That's strong. That's hard. And uh, 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 rhythm uh, of the night. Uh, if anything the, uh, uh, the switch, not the bars, but switch. Switch <laughs> belongs on that list. I like it. I like it, man. You know what? If you never, if you haven't no, heard new that whole song, if you haven't heard the whole song of "I Like It," man, you really got to hear that. They was doing some next level shit on that song. There was no new edition was on there. No Johnny Gill. 
Johnny Gill, my, my, my. No, Bobby, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to this week in hip-hop history. That brings us to this week in hip-hop history. January 5th, 1980. The Sugar Hill Gang came out with the first hip-hop single, Rapper's Delight. Mm. I actually thought that was 1979, but uh, I actually I actually know well, that. It actually reached the Billboard Top 40 in 1980. Rather. Okay, because I was about to say, I actually know that came out in 79. Yep. Not, not a, that's fine. January 2nd, 1962, Keith Shock Lee of the Bomb Squad was born. All right. And just this last week, on New Year's Day, we lost... Lola Chantrell Mitchell, better known as Gangster Boo. Gangster Boo. And, you know, uh, apparently her and CeeLo actually had an album that was supposed to be coming out that they were getting, supposed to be getting together to work on. Oh, wow. That would have been interesting. That would have been interesting. Yeah, it would have. January 1st, 1958, Grandmaster Flash was born. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. January 1st, 1966. Crazy Legs of the Rock Steady Crew was born. Mm. January 26, 1966. Secret Squirrel of the Clan was born. <laughs> uh, December 31st, New Year's Eve, 1991. The original motion picture soundtrack for Juice was released. Hmm. December 29th, 1973, Pimp C of UGK was born. Okay. Uh, where'd the last one go? December 24th, 1994, Notorious B.I.G. released a single, Big Papa. Okay. And I, the last one I got is December 22nd, 1998. DMX released his second album, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. And that was this week, these this last two weeks, actually, in hip hop history. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I got this week, folks. I got something before we go. What's that, OG? Next week, I won't be here. Okay. Because my company came up with the dumbest ass idea ever. We are having our Christmas party next Friday. <laughs> okay. We're having a Christmas party January, Friday the 13th. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know what I told him? Why don't I just save face? Do something do something special. Do something different. Call it what it is. Right? King Day celebration. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we got for you this week on the Smoke Session 612, folks. Welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us. Join us all the time on a 92.9 Raven. Lots of music. Old school little bit of new school, hip-hop, R&B, everything. You can always hit us up on YouTube. You can hit us up on all of our Facebook pages, the What Up Don't Show page, the Ways Verse page, and always the Smoke Session 612 page. Man, thank y'all for joining us. We hope y'all join us next week. Peace out.